is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited to be working with L'Oreal Paris again today to celebrate the launch of the new Karl Lagerfeld and L'Oreal Paris collection. This has been out for quite a while in Europe and I was lucky enough to go to Paris Fashion Week with L'Oreal Paris and go to the launch party. So I've been patiently waiting for this collection to finally come to North America and it's here. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get this effortless French girl look using the collection as well as some of my other favorite L'Oreal Paris products. And to finish off the look, of course, I went all out with stripes, a beret, and faux bangs, but this look on its own is really gorgeous in person because it is with a light hand. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this, and let's get into it. I've already moisturized, and I'm gonna add one of my all-time favorite foundations, the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Foundation. I love this one because you can thin it out with a brush and as long as you've found your match, you can use it in areas that you might want some coverage or treat it like a tinted moisturizer. I feel like quick and easy looks, you might think to use BB creams or tinted moisturizers, but I usually just have one medium coverage foundation that I love and then just vary the application of it. My skin steps are the longest part of my routine. I feel like a true French woman often would go completely natural on the skin, but this is my inspired look and I'm gonna dial it back, but still I am opting for a higher coverage concealer. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I love to add a brightening effect to my chin, cheekbones, under the eyes to brighten up, and I really like blending in the concealer with my fingers. It takes away some of the excess product and blends easier in those more delicate areas. I never skip out on contour, but I'm making the process for this look more like 20 seconds. So with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Longwear Foundation Shaping Stick in tan, we're gonna bring some warmth dimension to the face and this will be my substitute for blush all in one. We're buffing under the cheekbones with this cream product and instead of using it straight from the tube, I like to put it on a brush, just a bit more foolproof than directly applying it. And then I'm fading the shade onto my cheeks too Kind of matures my face in this section. Touch of the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Powder in the T-Zone. I still want the skin looking like skin, but I did want a matte finish today. I'm still doing a lot of the makeup steps that I normally would, but just doing it quicker and more of a barely there way. So for brows, I'm adding a couple strokes of the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette in the front of the brow, a couple of strokes on the tail, and then brushing through with the spoolie. Of course, you can totally skip the brows if you have bangs, but brows really do frame the face if you don't have bangs, so I thought it would include it. And you can add some faux freckles with this product to add more of a natural vibe. My skin looks quite good on camera, but I do have some very small bumps, so I like to add a little freckle in any of those areas for a bit of camouflage. And now let's add a touch of Carl. Carl had such an impact on the world as a prolific designer, and the Carl Lagerfeld and L'Oreal Paris collection is a celebration of two iconic brands connected by their Parisian heritage. This is a modern take on French beauty, so we're going to start out with the Eye Contour Palette. I'm only using three of these shades to quickly define the eye. A sweep of light peach over the lid. A matte medium brown through the crease. I like to blend this all the way up to the brow bone as a very subtle contour. And then I picked up the middle shade and I faded this under the bottom lash line. And even this minimal shadow does really make the eyes pop. And these shadows are sheer, so if you're on the go, you're not gonna have to spend a ton of time blending, especially if you choose colors that are similar to your skin tone and similar in shade. But there is an option to go for more of a rocker look with the deeper shades. Now for graphic liner. I decided to go for a bit of a Jane Birkin with the liner style and tilt downwards, keeping it super close to the lash line. This is the Karl Lagerfeld and L'Oreal Paris graphic liner. Also I added three tiny lines under for extended lashes. An iconic Karl quote is, tomorrow I could be the opposite of what I am today. So a fun approach to makeup is to switch it up subtly and try something new. When I see French beauty icons, I'm inspired to take what I naturally have and rock the most unique feature. So I loved playing with this liner for a fun doll-like effect to accentuate my round eyes. Back to the look, I'm adding a coat of the Karl Lagerfeld and L'Oreal Paris Mascara for bold black lashes. 
Let's bring in the highlighter compact. This gives a gorgeous goddess glow. I love the packaging of these. They're a tribute to Carl's uniquely Parisian aesthetic, monochrome shades of black and white with the late designer's signature on there. And the lips. The lipsticks are my favorite part of this collab. I'm not big on pinks. I usually go for brown tones, but I was pleasantly surprised by this gorgeous color Riche lipstick in the shade Cultured with a K. These are super comfortable to wear, and instead of using a lip liner and a harsh lip line, I'm blotting the shade onto my lips for a light wash of color. So here's the fresh modern Parisian look. And since we skipped the bold 60s crease that Jane Birkin wears, I feel like the eye is still quite natural and a red lip won't be overkill, but a perfect mix of French inspo, modern and classic at the same time. So let's try a red from the collection. This lipstick is called Provocative, and when you apply straight from the tube you get a bold, true red, but again I went with the lipstick blotted and smudged, building up the color slightly to look more worn in. All six lipsticks in this collection have vitamin E and argon oil to hydrate and condition while making a statement. Comment below if you prefer the pink lip or the red lip, and I love how this whole look turned out. I paired it with my fave long sleeve fitted turtleneck, beret, and this matching striped and lip printed scarf and glove set which totally reminds me of the launch party. you enjoyed this crazy and chic makeup look and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up as always and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of these quick and wearable tutorials um, when I was planning this look originally I was gonna do this high ponytail with it which I did end up doing another tutorial on so you can definitely end this look with a nude lip and a ponytail or you can go full out with faux bangs and a beret however you style it I'm sure it'll look great and I would love to see you wearing this look so be sure to tag me on Instagram and Twitter if you try it out I love featuring you in my videos and thanks again to L'Oreal Paris for sponsoring today's video and taking me on the trip of a lifetime. I got to go to Paris Fashion Week with the brand and the Karl Lagerfeld launch party. So if you want to check out that whole experience, I do have a second vlog channel where you can check it out. And I'll see you guys in my next one.